Hello and welcome, it's Tim here from The Online Physiotherapist and today we're going to be talking around how do I know which trainer to choose? We've got stability trainers, we've got neutral trainers and we've even got these things called orthotics. So when we run, we land on the outer edge of our foot and then we roll inwards. This is called pronation. Pronation is a very normal movement and it helps with shock absorption. Now every runner has a various different degree of uh, pronation and so therefore this has led to the various selection of trainers that we can choose from. In short, the difference between neutral trainers and stability trainers is that stability trainers have an extra feature where they limit the amount of pronation. So historically 25 years ago we used to have 75% of our trainers were stability trainers and now this is flipped on its head. This is largely due to orthotics making greater developments and a greater understanding of what we need. Now today I want to offer you three top tips about how to know are you overpronated, or have you got high arches, what even is that? So firstly, you can take this, um, you can take a slow motion video of your running style, either on a treadmill or from behind. You can do this yourself if you have a setup already, or you can ask a friend to do this. Then I'd encourage you to slow that video down on watching it back and look to see are your feet or are your knees rolling inwards or are they even rubbing each other. If they are, this might mean that you are overpronated and this means that you would probably benefit from a stability shoe or some orthotics inside your shoes um, and you'd always put those in a neutral shoe. The second thing that you can do is that you can do a, a low tech test which is kind of the wet feet test. And this ultimately um, means that you have a, a sheet of cardboard. Uh, you can have like a cereal box. Um, what you would then do is that you would uh, wet your feet and then you'd step onto that cardboard afresh. And you would see kind of the pattern of your feet. Um, so this, if, if you haven't got a, a normal um, kind of blank space, so no wetness, um, on the inside of your foot, then that might indicate that you've got a normal arch or indeed a high arch. Um, you can probably find these photos online, but what I'm going to do is put also um, a, a link below that you can have a look at what does the picture of a normal arch, a high arch and a low arch mean. The third thing that you can have a look at is your trainers. So your trainers you can look for excessive wear on the outside or the inside of your trainer. Um, and this again would indicate um, that you would probably need to look at um, orthotics or going to see a podiatrist. Um, so that's it really. Um, the final thing that I want to talk to you about is orthotics. So orthotics, I used to personally, I used to have uh, knee pain in both my knees. I used to have back pain. Um, and then I heard about orthotics and I grew a greater understanding of these. And so basically what happened was I undertook an assessment and they found that um, I had hugely overpronated feet um, and I also had a slight leg leg discrepancy and so that caused me some knee pain and back pain. So they gave me some orthotics bespoke for me um, and after about five weeks uh, the pain completely went away. So this is uh, just a small example of how the foundation of your body can make such a huge difference to you and your performance. So it's great to have you here today. If you have any questions pop them in the comment below. Um, if you want to ask us some more information, head across to our website, theonlinephysiotherapist.com, um, and we can, we can help you out. So it's great to have you, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.